Hello everyone and welcome. Welcome to a game called Crest. So I got an email and they said, hey, why don't you check out our game? Uh, we think you'll enjoy it. So I went on the store page and took a look and Crest apparently is a god sim game. Uh, I was looking at some of the reviews and apparently this game is what Goddess was supposed to be. And if you remember what Goddess is, um, Goddess was that God Sim game that was like, oh, it's going to be really good. And then I played it and it was awful. It was, it was terrible. And a lot of the opinion on that game was about the same. Uh, people didn't like it. But apparently, uh, according to reviews, and mind you, this, this is in early access, uh, the reviews say that this game is what everything Goddess should have been. So that's promising, and if you know anything about me, I am a big God Sim game. I currently am a backer on the Universum, and you know, uh, I love Civ and a bunch of other games. But shout out to Eat, Create, Sleep. They sent me this code for their game, and uh, I'm going to take a look at it. So I haven't played it at all, uh, I've just been at this screen. Uh, I went into the options menu to check it out, and it's got quite the variety of options. Uh, so you don't even have to have a crazy super strong computer to play it. Uh, all the stuff is here, it's really good looking. Obviously, uh, you can set it to QWERTY or AZERTY. Uh, I have it on QWERTY, I don't know what that means, uh, but yeah. So, looks pretty good, and uh, let's go into a new game. I have no idea how it's played or anything like that, just jump right in. In the beginning, all was water. Cool. Oh, okay. In this endless ocean, you awoke alone. After many cycles, you could see small worlds form. We talking, are we talking about the universe here? Some worlds had empty vessels, which reminded you of yourself. You named them humans. <laughs> oh look, your presence gave them a will to live. Cool, I am the omnipotent god being. When you communicate with them, they see only a shadow of your true self. <sighs> That's pretty cool. They take your words as their own. Their interpretations mold and reshape your form. That's really cool. So, th so basically, you would write something down into, say, like, uh, because I believe the game has something to do with commandments. You write the commandments, and then um, uh, they, you, they, you give it to them, and then they interpret what you mean. So, depending on how they interpret it, it changes the way you are. And I, that's actually really cool uh, for a god game. That you don't really shape the humans, you kind of guide them and they shape you. I think that's really cool. They will, rede they will redefine what is right. He just murdered that man. And what is wrong. Your vessels are ready to take on the world. How they fare is up to you. Oh shit. Alright, so I'm already excited. That's that's a really cool premise for a game. That's a really, really cool premise. So what do we got here? Welcome to Crest Tutorial. In this world, you are tasked to take care of your followers as their god. You do so by writing commandments. During this tutorial, your followers won't age or starve. When you have completed the tutorial, your followers will behave normally again. Um, although you are all-knowing and all-seeing, you cannot influence them directly. They have free will and will not listen to everything you say. Cool. 
uh, your goal is to guide them towards survival. In Crest, the death of your people is permanent. When you last, when your last follower stops breathing, you have to start a new world. But you are not there yet, so start writing and lead your people to the future. Okay, cool. So that's our little intro. So here we go. Basic controls, Wasid. Uh, I can also use the mouse. That's awesome. So Wasid is for more key stuff. Uh, zoom in and zoom out. Obviously, seems fairly simple. Scroll wheel, rotate is Q and E. So we're starting out with this one island. That's cool. Um, what is? Oh, also, oh, I don't even have to use the keyboard. Awesome. An R and F. Nice. Oh, nice. It's got really good camera motion. That's really cool. Alright, cool. So, R and F. That's actually way better than the, the scroll wheel is a bit too rapid for my leg. So, I kind of like R and F to... That's pretty cool. Alright, cool. Controls. Alright, yeah. So, let's see here. Are these our animals? What do we got? We have uh, a lion. And it looks like some gazelle. So do I, is there a city nearby? There is. So here's the city. Click on the city. Whoa, city needs. Click on city needs. Okay. Okay. City needs. When your followers are not following your commandments, they have their own needs. They fulfill their needs. They become happy. As a result, they work. More commandments will affect these needs. Okay, cool. So we have... Sustenance, resources, safety, esteem, wealth, and offspring. So they need offspring, they need resources, they need wealth, they need safety. They've achieved sustenance, and they've achieved esteem. Okay, so here we go, here are the three. So they need sustenance and offspring, and they're not happy right now, okay. Interesting. Okay, so what do we all tweet? Open the world tablet. Commandment tablet. Okay. This is the place where your written commandments are displayed. Your followers will listen to these. Over time, they might reinterpret some of them. Duration, all commandments fade with time. Oh, that's pretty cool. All commandments fade with time. So over time, they'll go away. Association. Associations can replace words. Cool. So do I literally type on this? This is a view commandment. Where's the world tablet? So we can just explore, I guess. So what do we got here? We pause. Good. We have fast forward. We have normal speed. Right commandments. There, okay, that was open the world tablet. Commandments are written instructions to influence your followers' behavior. You are not communicating in sentences, but rather a concept language where context matters. Oh. Oh, I see, you put a few things together. Oh, wow, that's pretty cool. Um, so condition, this species, um, the, or this specifies which followers will follow your commandment. Action, what actions should they do? And these words should be placed in the middle. So these are the actions. Uh, and then we have this target. This is the target for their action, okay. Earth, okay. So, these are the different kind of actions. Consuming, so that's mouth. Uh, producing migrating, distributing, and destroying. Okay. World tablet. Uh, oh, you can speak the commandment. Huh. So, you put it in and then click this, and then it tells it to your people. Okay, interesting. Drag the symbols into the empty spaces in the world tablet to write your own commandment, then press the speak button to add it to the command commandment tablet. Now try to make your followers gather food and close this window when you're done. Okay, so... Food. How do I... 
don't think gather is a thing, right? It's not sure yet. Jungle, savanna. So what is this? Food? Oh, this is already complicated. Okay, cool. Reduce. So where are Savannah? I guess Savannah? Is there Savannah? Savannah produce food. Go. I don't know if that did anything. <laughs> what is this? Okay, so there's a bunch of things I can click on. So, my leader. I guess that me is me. That's the god. Wait, I don't have... I don't have the gather button. Try to distribute. Food. <laughs> Babies produce food. <laughs> so, what do I have as a written command in here? Okay, so there's a limited time which I lost. How do I make them gather food, though? Go away. Um, how do I go? How do I gather food? So you could straight up be like, war, destroy unhappy followers. And you could, you could basically create, you could start a genocide in this game. That's pretty interesting as a concept. Um, metal. How do I get food as my end goal? Produce, don't produce. Don't migrate. See, I don't have like, um, like the gather, whatever the gathering was. Okay. How do I close? I can't close it. There we go. Oh, I need food. Food, produce, food. When your followers say something, you should listen to them. You can see what they think of commandments or what they do follow. Do. Commandments, comm or do. Followers follow your commandment. Own will. Followers do something independently. Association. Followers make an association and propose it to others. Writing association. I've decided to change your commandment. Okay, cool. So everyone is going to go get food. Cool. Okay, so it was literally as simple as food produce food that's how simple that was see food go gather food food produce food that's pretty cool I like that concept yes my followers get your food look at the lion Oh my god, they're making more lions, oh no. So, ecology. This world is an interdependent world where your followers, animals, and lands depend on each other. If the followers change this balance, you might have to intervene and ask your followers to avoid hunting too much or farm too much. If you let them do as they wish, they might turn everything into a wasteland. <laughs> okay. So do I have enough food? Let me look here. Do I have enough food? Okay, interesting. So that's a farm. They're farming that. So on this side of the island, lions are rabbit. Look at a wall of freaking lions. So that's lion territory. We don't need to go over there. Stay on our side of the island. Stay over here. Make your followers create newborns. So. Once I think we've farmed enough, see they're like deforesting the place already. So once I think we've farmed enough, I'll tell them to not make food. So we need to produce babies. Produce babies. Go.
What is this? What is that? Oh, they're mining for metal. Interesting. So how do I create newborns? As you can see, the commandments are slowly running out. So how do I get babies? How do I, how do I make baby? How do I get them to create a newborn? So they're doing free will stuff now. Okay, so none of those are close to having newborns. Oh. They're doing the love dance. <laughs> what? <laughs> what is happening? Did my commandment work? Are they doing the love dance? <laughs> That's pretty ridiculous. I could speed it up. Oh, uh, the lion. I give up. So there's only a few lions left. Look at all the gazelle, though. What are they doing? What are you doing? Tell me. Oh, they're making babies. They gotta do the fertility dance. Did, did, what just happened? Did they make baby? No? He's gonna go mine stuff. What's this guy doing? He's gonna do the fertility dance some more. So what other commandments can I write? Oh cool, look, I can, I, it's unlocked all of them. <laughs> so I could literally go war against antelopes or war against lions. Wait, hold on. Alliance? I'm gonna destroy the lions. I wonder if we can train the lions to be our pets. Or maybe the lions will just eat all my followers. You know, one or the other. So we're about to have a baby. Look. Baby. They did it! They're making babies! Yay! Where'd that thing go? I wanted to see the rest of my, uh, what I'm supposed to be doing here. Oh, look at all the babies. This guy's still trying to have a baby. So let me see, what commandments am I still doing here? The savannah produces food, food produces... Food produces metal, produce babies, don't kill the lions. They're making, no, you're making too many babies now. <laughs> Stop. Oh no, I guess it's fine. So you can't, like, cancel edicts or, uh, commandments. How- yeah, are my hap- are my followers happy? How do I look at that? Yes. They're all pretty happy. What do they need? They need sustenance. They crave offspring. 
and resources, but they need sustenance. Okay, so they need food badly. So... Antelopes... Create food. If I'm doing that correctly. Don't make any more babies. We won't be able to sustain them. This baby makes me happy. Oh no. Stop. Stop breeding. the antelope on this island. There's so many antelopes. So what is this guy doing? He's farming. So what do we have here? The mean of your, so most of my followers are young. Ideology will be coming soon. Faith, oh well, that'd be cool, you can change some stuff. The cities accumulate, so we don't have a lot of food. We don't have any money or metals. They're they're busy pumping out kids, man. I gotta say, it looks like goddess. You know. But it looks good. Like I can only imagine that, like, later on... Oh, those are clouds. I can only imagine that later on... That you'll be in control of, like, a big island with, like, a bunch of tribes. I think that'd be cool. What is he doing? He's a wise man. He's walking the savannah. So these guys are all doing their free will shit. Making a making a baby doesn't make me happy. <laughs> What's he doing? What the hell? What did he just do? Oh, he's making another city. Oh, look at that. And they spread out. These guys don't have any food though. So, there are their jungle brethren, and then they have the plains peoples. I see. So, all this population is making them move. Interesting. Interesting. I thought we were trying to get food. I have very little food right now. Oh, I see. So since this is the overarching settlement, the settlement's happy. Interesting. Look, all the gazelle have moved away from this part of the thing. Now they're over here. Stop having babies. So that edict will go up. Like soon. <laughs> Look at all the Our new city. She's getting rock, they're getting food, they're getting food. So let's see. Let's see if I can get them to farm out on the savannah. Like, the savannah will produce food. Go farm out in the savannah. Oh, look at this guy. This guy's gonna create another settlement. So the old walk dudes with the walking sticks. They create, they like, travel and create settlements. All the antelope have migrated to this side of the island. There's only one lion left. All the other lions have died out. Well, 
Rip Lion. You were going by the wayside, and there's nothing I did anything about. I didn't do anything. The lions are just going extinct. Oh well. Stop making babies, you shitlords. Stop it. Stop making babies. The poor lion. It's the loneliest lion. The rise of the humans evermore. <laughs> So I guess my followers don't die in this tutorial. Stop making babies. A tale of two cities. <laughs> Please stop. We can't afford babies anymore. No. Things are getting out of control. Good, these first few uh, commandments are set to expire. This guy is like, fuck it, I'm out of here. Too many bitches here. I'm gonna go live with the farmer folk over in this town. Setting down roots, old man, or dude that I assume is old, he's gonna put a house over here. Yep. Ooh, this city is just as big and influential as this city. So they're on good terms with each other, that's what that means. So they're not hostile and they're not brutally murdering each other. So what are the, what's the happiness overall? Everyone here is happy, what about here? Everyone here is happy. See, apparently I'm a decent, omnipotent god being. My people are happy on their side of the island. So what do these people need? They need offspring and sustenance here. They're, they're not getting any food. People are pretty, pretty annoyed. Here, these people keep making babies. <laughs> this guy's sad, he doesn't have any babies. No one will make babies with him. Humanity's growing out of portion. Oh my god, this city got bigger than this one. Or maybe they're the same size now. I guess that- look, they're the same size. Stop growing, you shitlords. Stop. Oh look, they have different symbols too that tell you they're different cities. They- they like each other, okay? Happy. So what are the commandments I can get them to do? Jungle produces food. Sure. Start farming the jungle. All the antelope. So these two cities will be the first ones to starve. They keep trying to make babies. I don't... We don't have room for babies. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Stop. So... Good. The... The food makes, ha makes you happy commandment will go away. That's one they made of their own. And the make... The babies produce food. Are they eating the baby? <laughs> babies don't produce food. See, they're adding. They're adding to the commandments over time. Hmm. I wonder it would be better if just to do one commandment for a while, and then just would see what would happen. Their population is out of control. Produce food. Produce food. These guys are like, food makes me happy. Metal. Youngsters make metal. Metal make doesn't make you happy. Yes, make food, my my children. I 
I wonder if I can set. Can I? Oh, hold on. them go out and hunt i mean there are very few antelope left here on the side of the island and there's only one lion so we need to not kill the lions because if we don't kill the lion if we kill all the lions then the the gazelle population will explode but that lion has been laying there for 20 minutes or so and hasn't been doing anything so i don't know but all these people Stop it. Stop making babies. We done? We done making the babies? Good. We're not making babies anymore. To be happy, don't make babies. <laughs> so that one's... That commandment ran up. Cool. See, they've altered it. This wasn't originally what I put. Food produces metal. Happiness produces food. Right? That's what that is. Happy followers produce food. Happy followers produce babies. Antelope produce food. I told them not to kill the lions. Because the lions are cool. So this game is pretty wild. I, I like the concept, actually. I really like that you don't influence your followers and that your followers change your commandments over time. So, like, you hand down a commandment, and then they look at it and go, Well, that doesn't make much sense. A follower died of old age. Oh, good. Oh, no, look, the water. The water uh, is bigger. The lake grew bigger. It's washing away parts of the village. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Parts of the rainforest. Oh, my God. Look, the rainforest is disappearing. Oh no. Alright, we gotta have to tell them to migrate. So, because their, their village is... We need to tell them to migrate. So, let's tell them to migrate. Uh... Death. Happy followers. Migrate. Alright, so that should add it, and then they'll change it over time, I guess, or something. Look at the water. It was so tiny. Look, it's expanded. That's pretty cool. That it expands to the point where... That's pretty wild. So, I can't remember what that means. I think that means they're doing their free will stuff. These people are happy. They need resources and offsprings and they need sustenance. They actively need food. Do these guys actively... They have a lot of food. What about these guys? These guys have a little bit of food. And they have a lot of babies. They're just doing all the babies. They're making all the babies. This game is pretty cool. I like it. I like the idea of this game. I'll be watching this game from now on. But I think I'm going to end this part here for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't hesitate to like, comment, and subscribe. It means a lot to me. I appreciate it quite a bit. Shout out to Eat, Create, Sleep for their game. Uh, I believe it's called Crest. Uh, let me look real quick make sure that's correctly. That is correct. One moment. I have to open my email and make sure. Yes, it's called Crest. It's on Steam if you want to check it out. Um, I believe it's like like 10 bucks or something like that uh, for this game. Uh, just a warning to you guys, it is in early access, so you know, do with that as it may. Also, there's no save feature at the moment, which, uh, like the Universum, doesn't have a save feature. So I don't know that I'll be you know doing a Let's Play of this or anything like that, but... 
I think I will return to this game at some point once there's a save feature in the game because this is pretty cool. I like the idea. I like the the twist on it where you have to make commandments and then they decipher what you mean by those commandments. So that's pretty cool. So once again, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, stay tuned.